Hi, I'm Jenny Berenger, and not even I can believe go, go, I just go, go, ran go. 359 and 1500 meters, and you're watching Runner Space. <laughs> Attention high schoolers, if you haven't checked out our Boulder Running Camps contest, then check it out already! You can win tuition to the Boulder Running Camps in Colorado! That's a $625 value. Just go to boulderrunningcamps.com and post on the wall there the crazy thing you would do to go to that camp. Then we select the finalists and you guys pick the winners. It is as simple as that. Oh hello, didn't see you there. This is Steve Prefontaine and welcome to my classic. It looks like it's going to be a good meet today. As you can see, um, my fans are flocking into the stadium right now. Uh, I think I'm going to go talk to some of them, just kind of see uh, why they came to my meet. We're here with Scott, an avid me fan. He's here. I like your shirt. What do you got going on there? It's pretty. He lives. I'm alive! Please. You can touch me if you want, just to test if I'm no, alive. No, I think I'll back off of that one. I'm here with my buddy Jerry. I see you have a mustache. I have a mustache. Awesome. High five for mustaches. I found a me lookalike here at the Steve Prefontaine Classic. We're working it, aren't we? We are. People have been coming up to me and going, Hey Steve, do you get the same reaction? Is it really Steve? Is it really Steve? <laughs> <laughs> All right, so where to now? Hmm. Matt, that mustache looks ridiculous, horrendous. <laughs> that hurts, Chris Zielinski. That really hurts. Straight. I'm sorry. Ah. Chris Zielinski. <laughs> so I've got a mustache. Nick Simmons, what's the probability that you're gonna grow a mustache? Um, I tried that for Mustache March once. Uh, I think I was a sophomore in college, and it didn't turn out real well. But. It didn't turn out well. I'm a little older, a little more mature. I might be able to pull one off maybe next year. We'll see. One like this? <laughs> Perhaps. So, yeah, here, uh, just hanging out. And, oh my gosh, it's Adam Goucher. Matt, I heard the Karen Goucher song. You're mine. Uh, okay, okay. Uh, Anna Willard, it's me, Steve Prefontaine. I don't think it's Oh. <laughs> Is it the mustache? Yeah, it's a little creepy. It's Should I just uh, yeah, walk away? Hey Matt, it's a nice mustache. Oh, thank you. You feel a little better though if you went curly. I like it. <laughs> it sounds evil. I like it. Thank you, Matt, for taking care of it. Oh, what a great sport. <laughs> Matt! Matt! <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> hey, how's it going? Uh, do you want a banana? Hey, hey, hey. Oh, uh, uh, hey. <laughs> it's uh, facial hair. I think you need to be very careful. Oh gosh, that was alarming. I have to get to the safety of the runner space office. Oh god, oh god, oh god. Runner space oh god. Run down. He's such a big scary man. <laughs> Just a precaution, super sexy high school rundowns coming your way. Right here at the pre-classic, Oregon High School senior Elijah Greer got to run in the 800. He ran 149.15. After running 147 last year, he was going for the national record of 146, but fell short. That's cool, Elijah. 149 ain't bad. Greer will be looking forward to nationals, where he very likely will face the likes of Robbie Andrews, who ran a nation-leading 148.66 this week. Taking the U.S. number one from Greer, that was at the New Jersey Meet of Champions. Also at that meet, can you freaking believe it? Jillian Smith ran a nation leading 204 in the 800. Also in the meet on the field, sophomore Nick Vinna threw a U.S. number one, 72 feet, 8 inches in the shot put. That's number four all time in a sophomore record. You crazy, Nick Vinna. You crazy. California, California, here we go. California State Meet. It was ridiculous as usual from the get-go. Starting on Friday as Reggie Wyatt in the prelims ran a U.S. record 35.02 seconds in 300 meter hurdle. He also ran a U.S. number four, 46.13 in the 400. Yikes. That guy's an animal. Rawr. Later, Mac Fleet cranked off a 405 1600. That's number two in the nation this year. And Jordan Essay used her magic powers, summoned from her magical ponytail, to run 1005 in the 3200. A U.S. number one. Other performances we couldn't help but mention Tavares Tate ran a blazing U.S. number one in the 400 
scoring 45.48. Just nudging out Clayton Paros, who ran 45.71 at the Great Southwest Classic. At the same meet, Newbern High School's 4x4 team was rabbited by an all star team of high schoolers put together from different states. The all star team ran 306, blazing fast. Newbern missed their national record running 313. Ooh, Curtis Beach broke the high school decathlon record. And Shade Weekend of Texas jumped 14 feet in the pole vault. An amazing weekend we had, people. Check out interviews from the California State Meet, Elijah Greer's 800 at Pre, and much, much more right here at RunnerSpace.com. It's the College Pro Rundown, and hey, let's talk Prefontaine Classic. First and foremost, thank you, Ginny, for introducing the show. Yes, Ginny Berenger became only the third American woman to break four in the 1500 outdoors. The only other two to do that were Mary Slaney and Ian Turpin. <laughs> no, actually, it was Susie Faber Hamilton. Our cameraman Ian Turpin is not a woman, but has broken four in the 1500. On the guy's side, the Bowerman Mile was pretty impressive. One in the second fastest time ever run on American soil, 348.48 by Asbel Kiprop. This guy apparently a big fan of celebrating, as he started about 100 meters out from the finish line. Hey, if you guys Got it, flaunt it, you know? In the 800 hometown favorite, who's probably totally jealous of my mustache, Nick Simmons, blazed his last 200 in 25 seconds to win his second pre-classic in a time of 145.86. The women's 800 was full of surprises as Maggie Vesey, the woman with the slowest PR in the field, won the race in a time of two flat and 18 hundredths of a second, coming all the way from sixth place with 150 meters to go. As race favorite Pamela Jalima, who up until a few weeks ago was unbeaten in her entire life, faded to seventh. Last. Well, that's why we run the races, kids. In the 300, LaShawn Merritt ran the second fastest time of all time, running 31.30. It was actually a world record at sea level. And he did it against a stacked field. Xavier Carter, Wallace Spearman, Sean Crawford. Damn. Men's Open 3K, Bernard Legat won in a time of 7.35, beating the world record holder in the 3K. Steeple saved Shaheen of Qatar, who ran 7.36. Chris Alinsky, Matt Tegan, Camp, and Alistair Craig went 3.45, all running 7.37. That is a palindrome, and that is fast. Sonia Richards ran 49.86 to win the women's 400. Woo. In the men's 100, Michael Rogers beat out Walter Dix and Asafa Powell Run. running 994, which is now the current world leader. In the ladies' 100, Kamalita Jeter ran 1085. Rashawn Jackson cranked off a 48.38 in the 400 meter hurdles. While Paul Coates ran an 813 steeple. Josh Adams was the first American in an 826. Vivian Cherry out won the women's 2000 in a time of 531. While Amy Yoder Bagley was the first American followed by Kara Goucha. <laughs> I'm all about her. Yes, I think it's safe to say that this meet was the most incredible meet of all time. We've got every single race video of it, plus tons of interviews. Owen and non pre news 19 year old Stephanie 12 Great Britain ran 403 in the 1500. All right. It's a road racing rundown at the Switzer Loot Back Run. No, that's not what it is. It's the Switzer Loot Dac Run. Right? Anyways, it was in the Netherlands, and Peter Kamais of Kenya ran 27.59, winning by less than a second. Caroline Chep Tunai of Kenya ran a 31.36, personal best and course record. The big news on the American road racing scene this weekend was the New York Mini 10K. Oh, that's so cute. A Mini 10K. It was won by Rose Kosti, originally of Kenya, in 32.43. And second place was Serena Burla of Montana. Who is that? I don't know. She ran 33.04, a personal best. She beat some pretty formidable people, such as Catherine Nadereba of Kenya, who was fourth. Oh, we were also at the Eugene Challenge Mile this week. <laughs> Won by Vincent D'Onofrio. Looking good, Vince. And Susan Barr. It was free. Check out videos and photos of it right here at RunningSpace.com. Here's an example of a great stage. Hey. Well, thank you, Austin. And that means a lot to me. You're a very stylish man yourself. Hey, we're here with Matthew. Do you do you know who I am? I'm I'm really famous. I was in um, some movies, uh, Without Limits, Pre Pre Fontaine. That then I have a, I have a meet. It's actually going on today. Have you heard of it? Oh, cool. Well, you look like you're gonna be pretty fast. Are you Are you training for running at all? No? You just kind of hanging out? Um, if you could choose right now between being here or being in a candy store with a bunch of ice cream, which would you choose? I figure. Bob. Bob. I like you have patriotic attire. Very screams America. You know, I actually, I actually had some American records. Did you hear about those? Actually, I was wondering.
wondering if you'd like to run in slow motion with me to kind of get like, because Pre always saw that fo old footage of Pre and he was kind of just going in slow mo. You got slow motion, I'm good at slow motion. <laughs> You're the greatest distance runner ever come out of America. The current number two in the world. True, number two. The discus, I could probably do that. Yeah, there you go. Yeah, we could like, maybe we could like highlight something together. Like, we could all be doing the discus to the 80s hit, You Spin Me Right Round, Maybe Right Round. Um, as you can see, the beautiful backdrop of the Prefontaine classic. Coat of bodies. It's not all pretty here, people. This is real life. This is real as it gets. It's a Prefontaine classic. People have to go to the bathroom. What do you What do you really do? Okay. I, this is honestly, they pay me to do this. I'm not Seriously? even joking. Wow. I'm not joking. I look on the internet. I look at the show. It's, it's, <laughs> it's really not all fun and games as Steve Prefontaine. It's really risky. Uh, I just found this out when I was going to the bathroom. And in me going to the bathroom, my mustache fell off almost into the urinal, but I got it. I know, everybody, clap rhythmically if you love my mustache. If you really, really like it. Look at it, man. They love it. They love me and my mustache. The crowd goes wild. Yo, um, are we on? This is it. We're on. We're on. Need tape? Let us in tape. You have tape? <laughs> I wish I did. Because <laughs> I need it. <laughs> uh, we were with Bujan. He's, he's pretty fast. If you didn't know, I was actually pretty good at sprinting too. I was wondering if you wanted to race. Yeah, sure. Sure. Well, then again, nah, that's what you're looking for. Is it because of the mustache? <laughs> I would like to just um, commemorate this uh, this moment. I've just got to ask for an autograph. For an autograph. What's your name? Dan. Dan. I see all the Dan, you know, people say like a little like inspirational yeah. phrase. Hey, sir, head down I'm back actually just here. rocking it. Is nice. that good? Okay. Yeah. So, Hold on to this. You probably gonna want to sell this on eBay. This <laughs> almost like it's my meat. It's like they're here for me. Oh no, it's Keith. <laughs> My arch nemesis. We need to talk about mustaches. A mustache could get in the window. There could be mustache. My stash is going this way. It could get entangled. Ugh. I'm here with my friend Jason Bourne. Um, what are you. This is delicious liquid. What is it called? It's a, a neutralite sports drink. It's from uh, the main sponsor Neutralite over there, and it's got electrolytes, all natural ingredients. What is Very this? good product. This is kind of a tap, kind of like a uh, egg tap here, and it uh, dispenses this excellent drink. Oh, so this is alcohol? No, no, it's a sports drink. <laughs> Welcome to this Team Fremontane Classic, kids. <laughs> ah, that is good. <laughs> Oh, is this a video of some sort? Yep, and you tell us. Oh, this is like double video. What am I supposed to say? Why you're the next creep, or? Why am I the next creep? <laughs> Mustache. Okay. Are gone? Okay, it's got it and here they come down, please. So it looks like they're uh, finishing up the mile here at uh, the Prefontaine Classic. Uh, I think I'm gonna go now. Looks like we need over. Um, it's a good one. Uh, bye, Runner Space Nation. This is Runner Space Live. Signing out. Hey, this is Steve here with Matt Chair. He's rabbiting one of my races here at my meet. Did you feel pretty awesome participating in my meet that I have here today? Absolutely, it's an honor. Is it? Yes. Cool. What's your What's your favorite part about running in my meet? 
that I don't have to finish. You don't have to finish. I get to look like I'm winning for a long time and then I just get to stop. So people are all like, look at that fast dude, yeah. and then you stop. I get right in front of the camera and it's, it's great. So you just love disappointing people pretty much. Yeah. yeah. Awesome. As do I. That's why I do a little show called Runner Space Live. Yeah, yeah. I get to disappoint people every week. Yeah.